I'm recording this video with my normal camera. It's actually balancing on my computer right now. Um, so that's why the quality might be a little different, maybe even better. Let me know if you prefer this or not. Um, because then I'll be able to, uh, you know, improve my videos. Because if you prefer this over the webcam that I usually use, um, then I'll usually uh, then I'll usually use uh, the camera now uh, from now on. Today you're gonna need your 3D glasses because we're going down a trip to the 80s, the 3D era in the 80s. Uh, when Friday the 13th Part 3D came out, and Jaws 3D, and um, the Amityville Horror of 3D, uh, you know? Um, today, I've got a package from World of Books. It is um, probably <laughs> Friday the 13th Part 3, 3D, the novelization, the first one. Not the one by Simon Hulk or Hulky, I don't know. Um, this is actually the better one, or at least most people say this is the better one because uh, uh, this is the alternative ending, uh, so I'm really interested in reading this one because part three. Um, now this might not be um, the same as my ranking because it's already changed now after a few months. Um, this is probably my favorite from the uh, so-called human Jason era. So parts one, two, four. You know, uh, I probably prefer this over four actually. Uh, I really like part three, three D. And I checked it out with 3D glasses recently, and honestly, you should at least experience it once as a Friday the 13th fan, but it's not a must see if you're just like a random slasher fan. Uh, it's really only for the uh, hardcore Friday the 13th fans because it gets a little annoying after a while. The color grading is horrible. Yeah, there it is. That is awesome. Friday the 13th, part 3, 3D. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this cover, honestly. I mean, it is awesome, gotta get, give them credit for that, but uh, that's not the original cover, you know? Uh, or at least not the original mask. Um, also the font for Friday the 13th is a little weird, but you know, I like that. Um, it are differences like these in novelizations. That make them interesting. Now it does have a sticker on the back. I hate stickers on backs, on paper backs. But I'm gonna try to take it off. Let's see if I can do it without messing up the whole book. Slow but steady. It's it's kind of working. Like as you can see here, not really that much damage. It'll probably feel a little sticky there. But hey, at least there's no sticker. I bought this one for only 10 bucks uh, on Amazon.de, the German Abbey book, or Amazon, and I was so, so freaking happy, like I, I was just, holy shit, I was screaming into my pillow as if I was, uh, uh, Tommy Jarvis from Friday the 13th Part 4, when he sees the two kids making love in the window, you know, I was just so freaking happy, I mean, um, every once in a while I just look for Friday the 13th novelizations on the internet and go down the deep web to find if I, to see if I can find a, uh, a novelization for cheap, you know, for Friday the 13th. And it just, I've never seemed to uh, be lucky enough. And this was the day, finally. And, you know, it already arrived, it wasn't that long ago when I found it. Uh, but it was, it was only from uh, Germany. German people are my neighbors because uh, if you didn't know it, I live in the Netherlands. So uh, if you don't know, Germany is next to the Netherlands. So it shouldn't take that long, you know. Yep, got the sticker removed. If you you might see a little of this, I could probably get it off later. Anyway, the book that takes you from the edge of your seat to the edge of reality. Now if here it says. He lies in wait patiently, quietly, ready to strike as darkness settles over the forest. The victims enter his lair, and one by one, they die. That's so awesome. The color is it's pink. 
that's that's not very menacing okay so it has pictures inside as well black and white photos I'm just gonna show them all to you you got this one that's also on the back you know and this over here now I saw a review a really dumb review uh, that said like in this book you can hear Jason laugh I didn't see that in the movie terrible book do not recommend it's just sad to read that shit it's a novelization come on man it's based off an early draft of the screenplay it is part three they, weren't, they didn't even know what to do with Jason really uh, so yeah I can I can see why they had him laugh when he kills someone I mean I didn't see it in the movie as well but it's interesting to read right thanks for spoiling it by the way oh I just spoiled it to you as well <laughs> I like that Jason is finally killed by a blow from Chris's ex you can see over here see him laying there you know and then when you turn the next to the next page you see or is he <laughs> And then it's just it's the same picture but just zoomed in. I like that. <laughs> so I'm really uh looking forward to reading this because uh this is the alternative ending. And I don't know what the alternative ending is, but if I when I'm done reading this, I'll definitely um make a review for the book. So uh stay tuned for that. I don't know how soon I'm gonna do it. I've got exams and stuff as well. Uh, so I gotta deal with all that crap, but I'll definitely read this soon after, and I'm definitely gonna make a review of it uh, once I finish it, because I think this should be really interesting, and it's a pretty damn expensive book. I mean, I got it for only ten bucks, um, but the cheapest offer on uh, Amazon.de, the German Amazon, is um uh, like a hundred euros. Uh, and, and like on Amazon.co.uk and .com, it is like 60 bucks, so yeah, it's pretty expensive, you know. So yeah, that was it for this video. I will see you in the next one. See ya, guys. See ya, guys. See ya, guys, in 3D.